Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to another episode of FM21. This is our Dutch save with De Graaf Shop. And this is highlights from our Dutch Cup match against 8020. Uh, we're starting off with Sheatel taking a penalty. And he slots it in right to the left post, beating Alinga for the first goal of the match. 1-0 advantage. LaRue takes a deep throw, it drops in the box, and shed a haul. It falls right to him, and he's got a brace in the 15th minute as he has shown some prolific scoring ability today, albeit against a lesser opponent. LaRue down to the touchline, crosses it to Quasi at the back post. He's got the open header and makes it count. 3-0 advantage in the first half. Quasi from the edge of the box. It's to Cohen at the back post, but it's knocked away. Goes back to Quasi, and then, boy, Halinga was right off his line. Quasi put it right past him into the center of the net. 4-0 advantage. 85th minute, keeper came out, knocked it away, and Merrick opened netter with the keeper out of position, and that made it. 5-0, which we saw that as our final advantage. You saw they had a player sent off in the 59th minute. Shetta Hall was the player of the match with two goals. Very, very good game. $52,480 in the bank for that. Taking a quick look at finances. Uh, we have our $5 million in the hole and losing quite a bit of money this year. Most of that was our signings. Speaking of signings, we have made a deal to sell winger John Toll. Played a pretty big role for us last year, but he has fallen down the pecking order with some recent uh, signings, of course. Shed a hole on that side, Rasmussen, who we haven't seen a lot. Toll's third choice, and he was not happy about it. So uh, we were able to sell him on. Uh, we're going to get $220,000 up front, and then we have a 30% uh, future profit sell-on fee uh, next time he is sold. He's only 21, so I'm sure there will be a sell at some point down the line in his career. Taking a look after last match against Breda, we lost 1-0 to AZ. It was a tight match. We actually played pretty well. And, you know, we had this conversation the other day. You remember uh, the Hague uh, is how it's spelled, but somebody told me it's pronounced Den Hog. Well, that is spelled Den Hog, and it's pronounced Den Hog, I'm sure. So why is the Hague spelled so funny if it's pronounced the same way as this? Inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> but anyway, we did beat them 3-0. Uh, Nedib with a goal from the back line. McCowey got a penalty, and Fady Chelik with a late goal coming off the bench. Feyenoord beat us 2-1. to one. They got a brace from Maurice Bennett. McCowey got a stoppage time goal to make it look better than it was. You can see a couple of guys played pretty badly, DeVries included. And we haven't seen him on the score sheet in a little while uh, since the Groningen game. So that's concerning. Venlo beat us 2-0. to nil. I played around with the tactic here, and it bit me in the butt. So uh, we reset it for this match uh, to what we had been playing. And, you know, we know we're going to struggle this year, but that's how it goes. Uh, because of the Dutch Cup match, there were some rearrangements of fixtures. So you see Utrecht got pushed off to the end of November. So we'll come back with the match against Emmen in just a second. All right, it's match day. Here's the lineup we're going with. Viral, of course, in goal. We're going to start Sabuni at left back, Cohen and Neteb in the center, Nemeth on the right, Merrick and Harms in the mid, Shedahull and Quazy on the wings, McCowie, DeVries, same old, same old. We're going to try McCowie as a false nine. I haven't played with that very much, but it's it's a pretty comfortable position for him. Uh, he's just as good at that as he is as advanced forward or deep lying forward. And uh, DeVries can play either one of those as well. I just wanted to try something a little different. And a uh, couple of matches back, the assistant manager recommended Quasi move to an inside forward because it's more of a natural position. So this drops him up into more of a number 10. 
and we and then uh, Harms as a Mazala, we switched him because that'll cause him to drift out wide and kind of take Quazy's spot on the wing as those two guys cross up. Shadowhall stays wide on the wing, but we saw he was very successful. Like that last match that you just saw the highlights for, a bump on my arm and it's weird. Uh, he uh, he didn't do badly, so interested to see how that translates into a league opponent. I'm going to actually change something. I'm looking at I'm looking at DeVries here. He's down to a six four, but he played a five nine. So I'm going to bring Martinez on and give Martinez a start. DeVries needs to know that he is not unimpeachable. Uh, now let's see, Martinez. Poacher, advanced forward are his two best positions. So let's swap him over. Let's do that. All right, let's get to it. We want DeVries to know that he can't just, uh, you know, he can't just coast. You know, we need, we need performances from him and to get it done. All right, we're in the blue and white. Emin is in the, what is that, black? Guess in black. All right, we're going to give a quick shout of encouragement. That seems to cheer the team up. Merritt gets the first highlight for us with a corner. It's headed out, and Van Huffel on a big counter opportunity. He goes wide. Oh, and there's some good defense. McCowie picks up the ball over the top. Lays it off, shed a hole into the box. He's on it. Turn. Oh, my God. Look at all the defensive stops. Oh, how many blocks were there? How many blocks were there? I think we were a little unlucky. Good tackle away by Harms coming over to make that play, just to hold play up, give our defense a chance to reset. We got to the ball first that time with the header, but again, it doesn't go anywhere near one of our players. It's like they pay no attention. Oh, nice interception by Merrick. Drops into McCowie. Oh, he couldn't find an angle there. It's there to Merrick, and it's blocked. Oh, I thought that was a wide-open shot. Come on, boys. I'm thinking this is one we should probably win. You know, these are points. Oh, God. We just got cut open. And what a save by Varal. Knocks it just wide of the goal. Kovanesic headed out. Good job. Neta picks up a yellow card in the 12th minute. We're going to demand more. Oh, there's a ball over the top diagonal. Oh, and he beats the keeper. I offsides, please, maybe. Yes. Well, they don't even show a replay. I guess there was an offsides there. Lumped into the box. Headed out. Shed a hole controls it. Oh, Merrick leaned back on that one and got under it and skied it over the goal. If he could have gotten on point with that, got his knee over the ball, I think that could have been a big blistering shot to go in the net oh man all right nice ball out to Quazy. he's got nemeth on an overlap decides to take it up himself he does lay it off back in squared oh what a save by de kaiser merrick with another opportunity there there comes our shout for demanding more Nemeth on the ball. Arms. 
And he takes a ping and it goes over the net. Ah, uh, come on. Seven shots, only two on target. We're not really taking long shots. No, oh, Cohen just watched that ball go in. He wasn't marking anybody. And we are lucky that ball did not go into the net against us. We're getting a lot of shots from our midfielders here lately. I'm not sure what's causing that. Let's, um, first off, let's go back to positive and let's work the ball into the box. Just, you know, see if that does anything for us. All right, Quazies over the ball. There's a header high of the mark. Another chance goes begging off of a set piece. Merrick has looked really good. Oh, he just slides it wide of the goal. He's looked really good since, you know, since joining the team. And I am contemplating. Shedahole looks tired. We may have to sub him off today. Quazy gets the header on that ball. Oh, there's a nice through to McCowie. Oh, and he hits the post twice. Third time's the charm, but that was some pinpoint poor shooting. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't hit the post twice like that. If you tried, I don't think. All right, it says shed a hole. It took an injury. Again, we're not getting the little star by his name, so I don't know what that means. But uh, we're going to bring Rasmussen on. So Rasmussen, just take a look at him. He's one of our other new signings, 29-year-old, one of our veteran, more, more veteran players. Very good crossing pace. He can actually take long shots, and he can pass the ball well. So we've got him as a winger. And I'm going to set him up as a winger on attack. Sabuni's on a yellow, and he's playing really poor. A 6-2. I'm going to make that sub at half. This is an injury sub. I don't know if I want to make a second sub that early. Three shots of 13 on target. We've got an XG of over 2, which is an improvement. But we're just not getting the conversions today. Uh, we're going to go hands on hips. You played well, but there's still room for improvement. I probably needed to do something different there. Nedev continues to pick up yellow cards at an alarming rate. Quasi back to Nesmith. And he's going to hit it into the legs. Pulls the corner, though. Let's encourage. Near post. Uh, cleared out. Can Martinez get there? He can. He finds Merrick. Martinez needs to make a run. Did we pull another corner? It looks like it. I think we can do better on corners, boys. And there's a header, but it goes high. Not sure who got the head on that. Quasi, possibly? Still playing a 6-2 and another corner. There's a header, and again it goes high. Are we playing for set pieces? Did I tick that by... I want to turn that off. We're not playing for set pieces. But just a slight tweak to things right there. All right, we're in the 60th minute. Martinez playing a 6-6. Six, six. McCowie's doing well. I really want to take Sabuni off. And the assistant manager says to bring on Banu, which I'm okay with that. And I don't want to make that other sub yet. I might need it if Nateb gets sent off. I might need to pull him if he starts looking 
troubled. I really want to pull DeVries onto the field. All right, let's give a demand more shout. So much for tighter marking, huh? All right, some decent ball movement up the flank, although it's a little slow. Can we do anything better there? Maybe. Quasi, a run from the right to the left. Taps it in, but it's cleared out. Banu gets to it. He takes a... Was that a shot? Did we really think that was a shot? Because if that was a shot, it was really poor. <laughs> it was really poor. Nice overlap. Into Quasi. Into the box. Nesmith. There's a head, oh, a header down. Nothing on it, though. Banu into the box, blocked and cleared. All right, I'm going to push tempo and we're going to try that. Maybe I don't want to change both of them. See, Quasi's looking really rough. Now I'm thinking I need to pull him off. All right, Rasmussen's there. Was he called for a penalty? Oh, I thought that was a good tackle. He's protesting. If they get a no penalty, thank you. That was, boy, boy, these, these officials are pretty tough. All right, so do I want to bring off Martinez or Quasi or the yellow on the back line? I think I'm going to bring off Quasi. They're saying Fady Chellick, so we'll go with that. All right there. Oh, edge of the box. And he is open. Good block. Goes out of play. That's going to get our sub in. Possibly. There we go. Fady Chellick comes on. Mitchell Quasi goes off. And we're going to ask him to demand more. Chellick gets over there to control the clearance. You know, even if we can hold on just for a 1-0, I'm okay with that. Chellick took a shot from the edge of the box. That was optimistic. Optimistic. Three minutes of stoppage time. And we're playing with the ball in the back. And I get nervous when that happens. <laughs> All right. Merrick finds some space out wide. Fady Chellick's there. And that wasn't good. Goes back to the keeper. Back out to Banu. Oh, there was a nice little flick pass. There's Rasmussen, and there's the stoppage. All right, full time, a 1 0 victory. Gotta like that. You'll notice also in the midfield, I switched the uh, Merrick from the right to the left. That was just to allow that, that inverted winger on the, uh, the same side as the Mazala. Our starting winger on that side is just a little bit better at that position. So that's why I did that. Uh, we're going to go finger switch to the next match they were motivated by that so i'm okay we're good there let's go ahead and finish out the day shed a hole is out three to four days he should be back will he be match fit that's the more important question and there's the end of the day taking a look at the standings we are eighth in the table 15 points from 11 matches a plus three goal differential Obviously, PSV, Willem, Utrecht up top. You see Ajax has come back. Uh, they're on 22 points now from 11 matches after a bad start to their season. And if we look at recent form, 
Ajax has won all five on the bounce. Everybody else has dropped a few. And we are the first club that has dropped three, but you'll notice there's quite a few behind us. So, you know, we're in good company, but we keep pulling points. Still, only four points separate us in eighth from Breda in 14th. So we could be fighting bravely against relegation. I would like to get a run of results, you know, getting at least one point. Uh, or three points in several matches in a row. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that this season. Oh, we do have one other bit of transfer news. So we, you know uh, from the beginning that we sold John Toll. He will be departing in uh, 1st of January. Well, there is no transfer news because he hasn't accepted the contract yet, so we don't want to talk about it. All right, guys, well, we'll end the episode there. Where do we come back? I think we want to get a good run of games. Catwick, Catwick is in the league below us that we just came from. That's our second-round opponent. But we just looked at Venlo. Actually, that would be, you know what? Let's come back for, let's come back for the Ajax match. And then we'll do highlights from the Catwick Dutch Cup match. And I may throw those in at the beginning of the video, so don't be freaked out. We won't talk about the IAX score. We'll just look at the highlights. Or I'll do the highlights at the end. That would probably make more sense. Keep it, keep it in linear order. Well, that's what we'll do. IAX and then highlights from Catwick in the second round of the Dutch Cup. Guys, hit the like button. Subscribe if you don't mind. And uh, hey, for those of you that keep coming to watch, I do appreciate you more than you'll ever know. And personal news, uh, I had to go take a COVID test yesterday from, I'm recording this. Uh, I'm negative, but I do have a family member, one of my kids that tested positive on Monday, so a couple of days ago. Uh, so she's quarantining in the house and we're all kind of quarantining in our space uh, not trying to cross paths too much. You know, we're basically all quarantining. Uh, two of them, three of them have been uh, sent home from work, can't work for two weeks while they quarantine. So my wife, uh, my son-in-law, and my one of my boys that works all sent home. So I'm the only one still working. I am working today, but I'm working from home because I have some uh, stuff that I'm, uh, paperwork and some presentation stuff that I need to prep up and email out to clients. So uh, I've, I've already done that. I've sent it out for review and I'm just waiting on word back. So I figured I could record in between actual work. So guys, we'll talk to you next episode. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.